guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes four and five of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started with episode four and three, two, one, go. New girl? No, Anna. Ah, of course. Because she, oh, because she's waiting for him in a way. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. D-Day. He was just happy that he, you know, right? Yamana. Huh. Not the nut. Shaped like a heart. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be a freaking Glee episode. You know, like, oh my god. Okay. I cannot believe we're about to talk about this. Okay. You remember, if anyone who has seen Glee, the one episode, I think this had to be like season one, season two, the grilled cheeses episode. <laughs> oh my god. At, at the time of when that episode was out, and when, you know, because I was watching Glee every single freaking week and shit. <laughs> or, oh my god, no, Finn doing the. <laughs> oh my god, talking to freaking Quinn's mom and dad and being like, oh yeah, let me convey in song. Yeah, you're having my baby. And I'm like, what? Oh my god, I, some days I miss that show and some days I don't. I, once again, like as much as I love me some Glee, I am an American Horror Story girl through and through since day one when I started watching it. Binge, binge season one, like, less than 24 hours. <laughs> and then when season two started airing, I was watching that with my mom. And I've been watching that ish ever since. With candy. But you're going to be asking to want them back. Or right, here, how about this? Have him take half and you take the other half. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
No, that that's different. That is love and chocolate. That is different than the friendship chocolate. Like she she literally went around the corner and everything, girl. I mean, well, you know, you two already went on y'all day. There are, but you know, it just seems like it goes by so fast. With the way these two look riding on the bike, you know, they literally give me feels to one of my favorite couples, Agaragi and Sandra Hara, like my babies. <laughs> With him, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Those are so pretty. Right? Girl, I mean, you probably got enough chocolate to, you know, satisfy you for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you asking me if you think he's... You have chocolate on your face. <laughs> the way she is just rubbing it, girl. Bye bye. I mean, I was either expecting her to just, like, you know, wipe it off, or I was expecting her to, like, at least lick it off, but, you know, they, they're not, like, that type of couple. They're not, like, spicy and such. They're still babies, so, you know, they chill. Are you? No.
Good job, baby. You did good. No, it was. <laughs> oh, that could be her. Oh. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> right? I mean, you want to talk about it, though. I mean, that's why, you know. Yes, that is true, babe. Yamina, you were, like, always weird, but... You're really, really off. Kiss you. Oh, it's the muffin, of course. Oh, is she trying to put love? You can just tell in this moment she's so vulnerable and, oh, I fell for her. No! Just don't let the dog get it.
Bye. Like, stop. Look at them. Oh, babies have come so far. <laughs> I love how he has the muffin beside him in bed. Likes you. <laughs> right? You have a whole month to think about that. Now, we know Yamada likes food. You could be nice and just home make her some food or something and such. <laughs> That'd be me. But like, yeah, oh my god, I really want... X, Y, and Z, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Handmade lingerie. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, she's actually a hottie. Like, on the hottie scale, she's like, what, an A? And Ichikawa's kind of like a, Ichikawa's like a C. A, a good C plus, but almost up to a B. She's gotten popular. In these two seasons, you know? So, yeah. I say a B. Ah, yeah, you. Yeah, but at the same time, he's still an ass. <laughs> I mean, the best thing that you can always do is just ask your significant other. Y'all are literally the same fucking person. Right? I feel like this was the wrong guy to ask because, I mean, duh, the, the laundry is more for the guy the, rather than the girl. Yeah, 
this way. <laughs> the fact that that is also him, like, establishing dominance is so But well, hold on, you're gonna faint. Ha! <laughs> Come on, let's go. That's a good thing that girlfriends do. Yes, yes, yes. Not only was she establishing dominance, Jigal was also dam establishing dominance. A match made in heaven. Like, any time when you were like, yes, like, I want to say hi to my boo. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, I know, like, we were talking about um last week with two and three of what I was talking about, like, one of the moments was. There, there was a moment that I saw... It was, I think, the the trip that they're going to go on fairly soon. And something happened where, like, everybody on Twitter was like, ah! And I was like, what are we freaking out about? And all I saw was, like, all these screenshots of them on this field trip together. And I was like, okay, well, maybe that's something where it's just about to go down. But there was one other, and I literally cannot remember what it was. So hopefully it does come soon where I'm like, oh, okay, that's what it was. But... Honestly, I, I, we don't, I don't know what it is still, but regardless, no. But still, I love the fact is she was vulnerable. She was super scared in giving him that chocolate and such because, like, of course, as girls, we're, we're always vulnerable when, when it comes to a guy that we really have a crush on. We're just like, I don't know how they're going to perceive of how, uh, how I say this or how I word this or how... What I mean by X, Y, and Z. And so I love the fact that in that moment, she was very vulnerable. And it, it worked out in her end. I mean, the cute little hug that they did. With the fact is of the height demographic. Where she's tall as fuck and he's short as up. And the fact is that he was the one who was holding. They were both holding each other. But he's the one who's like supposed to be the taller one. And like she's the short and sweet. And I'm just like. Goodbye. <laughs> like, uh, uh. But no, like, yeah, seriously, on this scale, like, Yamada is, like, top tier A. And Ishikawa, like I said, I, I started him out as a C. He would definitely be at a B. He has, like, once again, grown in so much little time of how much I've watched the show and such. So, yeah, I definitely think he is a B tier type of guy. But the one thing I kind of also dislike, especially when we're coming into like the A tier, B tier, or whatever types of ish, or like the scale of, oh, what do you rate this girl? Or what do you rate this guy? And such. I secretly hate that because of the fact is like, you know, <laughs> it's always the fucking scale. And then when you get the girls like, ish, and you be like, oh, what do you rate her? Mm -hmm. Like me, regardless, I, I really don't care what guys think. I'm always going to rate myself a motherfucking time. I am a 10 out of a 10, like, ish, like, yes. I am, even though I am, once again, a very shy woman and such, I'm still the, a badass bitch. I am very respectful. I am, you know, responsible and everything else. I have, like, there's so many things about me and such. I'm funny and hilarious, you know. <laughs> funny and hilarious is the same word, Deja. Um, funny, sweet, very passionate, um... And, you know, an easy to know gal, you know, but like I always say to people, like I am very much shy. I think if I ever went, I think if I went on speed dating, I think I'd be cool. But like at the same time, you know, I'd just be a little weary. But that's like how my mom and I, we were, um, so you know, the one Netflix show, I think I've already talked about this before. Um, Love is Blind. I watched that like two times in a year because, you know, new seasons and this, yada, 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 and bullshit. My mom was like, you know, DJ, if they ever come to Florida, would you ever go on that show? And I was like, fuck no. I was like, because, you know, what? I mean, yeah, I believe in love regardless, but then, you know, the love and this like that. And the next thing you know, if it's like, the guy doesn't like you because of the way you look and the ish, like, psh, goodbye relationship. 
Um, but it's like one of those, it's like it stands the test of time and such. I think I would rather do speed dating because then I get that initiative. This is how I know how, like, I can get to know you in this amount of minutes and then go on to the next one. And then maybe if there's a potential where I'm like, oh, damn, like, I really hit it off with, like, contestant number 18 or <laughs> it's like that. I'm like, yeah, I would love to see that. But, like, as I, because funny enough, okay, I, I cannot believe I'm going to say this. So, on how many minutes here? 26. Okay, so on Tuesday, I was at work, right? And I am just doing my normal ish. Like, I'm here to do my job, go home, work, or go to bed, be off for two days, and go back to work on a Friday before vacation, right? So, um, this guy came in. Tall, uh, tall looking guy, a little bit taller than me, because, like, I'm like 5'9, five, 5'9, five, um, five, 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 10, almost very close to six foot. This guy had to be a little bit taller than me, so about, like, 6'3", and maybe age-wise, he possibly was maybe either a little bit older than me or maybe a little bit younger because I couldn't really figure out the vibes and such. And so, of course, like, any time when anyone's coming in the store, I work on my charm and my smile, and it's like, hi, how are you? Like, hi, welcome in. How can I help you? Da-da-da-da. Because, you know, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Da. Um, and he was like, here, I'm, I'm here to return something. He was returning something from Amazon. And he, um, he asked me, he was like, oh, like, I really like your smile. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then he's like, I really like your teeth. And I'm like, thank you. And such. She's like, you know, you're really pretty. I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, but I'm here to work. I'm like, <laughs> shit. Um, but, um, I, I was doing his stuff and everything. And normally, like, when a guy flirts with me, I get really nervous and such mainly due to the stereotype of how I was growing up between middle school real yeah mm, yeah more middle school and a little bit of high school where if you look at me and you know I am not I'm like I'm the curvy girl and such um guys would always do the fucking joke of ish and so anytime when a guy flirts with me I feel like they're gonna screw me over in the end um so <laughs> He, he tried to shoot his shot with me, and I nervously laughed and such. And so I just told him, I, I had to break him down, like, set him down gently. I was like, yeah, thank you. I'm flattered, but no thank you. He, he and such. And I, and I could tell I hurt his feelings, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm like, I'm just, I, I'd rather be on my own right now. It's just me, myself, and my, and I, at the end of the day, independent bad bitch woman right here, yes. And I'm okay with that. Once again, we, we've had this conversation. But that's what I literally try to do with guys. I, I try not to laugh in guys' face and stuff, but, like, I can't help it because I get nervous um, and everything. So it, like, <laughs> just the way I am. So please, literally to anybody who wants to come up and flirt with me, and if I ever nervously laugh, please do not take it as, like, oh, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like no I'm nervous I'm sorry I can't help it it just happened and, and it's just like I will let you down gently if you know if I need to yes <laughs> same thing with people here on, on the internet too well yeah I'll, I'll say that it, it depends because like sometimes I can be a little nervous too but any, any, anybody who, you know, because I don't know if all y'all do. I'm speaking more to the guys. Like, I don't know about the girls and such. But to the guys, like, yeah, if you do, like, have a thing for me, that's okay. I'm, I'm very flattered and such. If you want to get to know me, yeah, hello, social media is all down there. We can talk and chill and, you know, talk about anime and shit. You can talk about, like, gaming and movies and shit like that. You know, hell, you could even sit and watch a movie with me and such. We could just talk about the most random things. But, yeah. Yeah, no, this was a kid and our episode, and I'm just ready to see what the heck is about to happen in the next one. So, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode five. <laughs> Alrighty, episode five in three, two, one.
Are you okay with that? Like, you want that, right? Babe, what are you looking for? Oh, well, she found it. Hmm? The Island of Prayers. Is that where you want to go? Oh, it was a movie. You had two tickets? You had two tickets. No, I want you to go with me. It could be. You just have to ask her. Wait! Yes, listen to Jun Fukuyama. Best boy. Love him. I think a lot, mm, I really wouldn't count that as a date, because I went with a guy friend, and you know, I went with a guy friend, but you know, he's for the other team, so I really don't count that as a date, it was more like a, a hangout. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh my god. <laughs> what your little gear references? <gasps> if only they had done like the mission fail from Metal Gear. <laughs> Well, I mean, if that is okay, then whenever the heck I go to Japan, I will wear one. And I will just go on a date with a random person. Hopefully it's someone I know. Be like, yeah, let's just go to, let's, let's go on a date. <laughs> Really? 
I, I'm super surprised about that because, I mean, it's Yamada. Yamada would li literally eat anything. Right? At least eat, like, half of the piece and then, you know, blow on it, eat more. Oh. You wouldn't besides like you're her boyfriend you're supposed to go see her when she's at work it's cute You never know where you're going to get this chance again. Hi. Yes, this is a date. E even though, like, it's more like a hangout, it can still be a date. Hmm? Uh, you do all of them streaming? <laughs>
No, they don't have to be all that bad. Some of them are, you know, and some of them are like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're still really good friends. He's glad that he got to, you know, spend time with you. Yeah. And you like that? What? No, you look good. Where are you going? You go hella early. It's seven in the morning, bro. But yeah, he, he she did invite him, so you know, yeah. But super early down, but yeah. Or flowers. Okay, now just find her. Aww. That aura she has, like, oh. reminds me of Best Girl Money. Oh my god. Yeah, you better give it to her. She will still enjoy it regardless. Once again, I could just listen to Jim Fukuyama talk all day long. I can't with him. Like, <sighs> oh. Yes, but, you know. No worried about you.
Right. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she pretty. What in the hell? All right, okay. Person wants to be an asshole about that. I mean, but they they technically are, even though they're not, but duh. Very. Yeah. But, you know, the the hand holding, the almost saying that you were a couple. Oh, you suck. Yeah. That's all she wanted to hear. That's all she fucking wanted to hear. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. It's like the one episode from Dress Up Darling. Or Gojo. Literally was like, oh, you look so beautiful in his sleep. And Lottie was like, <laughs> I can't fangirl anymore. I gotta go to bed. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. It's too much. <laughs> my God, but no, she looks so pretty in her photo shoot outfit. Like, oh my God! Like, seriously. See, uh, uh, like the one thing I have been doing, like ever since yesterday, I have this. Like, I have a Pinterest just as much as any other girl does. And you know how, like, when you're um looking at clothes or just different outfits and stuff, and how I'm a girl, I love me some clothes. I love me some fashion, just like that. So, like I said, I got a Pinterest board of called Tall Girl Style because I'm a tall girl, but yes. 
so I literally will go on and look on clothes from any shows that I have seen throughout the years that I still will either religiously rewatch and stuff. Like, it's like my comfort show, duh. Or new things like this. Um, we can even say Rent a Girlfriend, even though I don't watch Rent a Girlfriend anymore. Um, but I, I suddenly watched, <laughs> 10 out of 10 watched Rent a Girlfriend only really for the outfits to see how, like, whatever outfit she's going to do was always going to wear on her date with what's-his-face and such. And be like, oh my god, that looks cute. Or, oh my god, I want to recreate something like that. But not to the point that it looks like I'm cosplaying her and such. And that's the same thing where I've seen a lot of people on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter slash X or even Tumblr being like, oh my god, like this is a cute outfit from an anime or this is a cute outfit from an anime or this girl is wearing a really cute top or this guy is wearing a really nice top that I want to like have in my like wardrobe and such. And you like kind of do that side by side comparison and such. And the first thing you're always going to get is like, oh, it looks like they're just cosplaying the character. And you'll be like, oh my god, no, I'm not. I'm literally just taking it as my own. But I'm not, like, I'm not just the character. I'm just like, this is a really nice outfit and I want to dress up. So I would say Yamada is, like, up there for some of the outfits that I've seen her in and pictures and such. Um, Like, her one outfit from the date that they went on, like, the Christmassy ass date, I loved Love, 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 love that outfit. It really makes her look a lot more mature than she is. Because, I mean, yeah, of course, she's just, she's still, in my eyes, she's still baby. And when I first saw her in that outfit, or even the outfit where um, Ishikawa and, her sister, and his sister went to the, uh, the McDonald's and she was there in her outfit. Like, any of her outfits that she has when she's not wearing her school uniform is like a 10 out of 10, whether it's something casual or dressy and such. It's the same way of how I feel about, once again, my best girl, Nadine, um, from Dress of Darling, where, like, anything that she wears, I'm like, I, I want that. I'm gonna find something similar to that and such. Um, or, like, um, my other best girl from, of course, Bunny Girl Senpai, Mai. Mai has an incredible taste and style. It, it got to the point where, like, I remember, um, when I was watching the show Smile Down the Runway, and every single week, I was just like, I and I, I do that with almost like any show that has something to do with fashion in it because I love the shit out of the clothes and everything and I'm like oh, I need that like yes I love drab, uh, dressing casual because like yeah I'm wearing a, like a black shirt now and like my <laughs> my like casual legging not really legging sweatpants and stuff like that is my ish like my go to but sometimes like I said I want to wear like some really good skinny jeans and like some heels like booties and stuff and a really cute shirt because I'm like yes I need a sunshade and I love me because like yes but no like I love the fact that he went to her photo shoot like I love the fact that she also invited him having them having like their what second or third or fourth date and stuff that was cute I, I even love how she <laughs> cheekily <laughs> gave <laughs> gave him the other ticket and then of course with the encouraging words of Jun Fukuyama my other husband um literally being like okay I want to go with you like stop I'm dead like I can't I, I cannot like like I said the last kind of I, I well we can kind of say it was a date even though two of us we were just hanging out and stuff because it's like okay the american version of date versus the japanese version of date of course is like clearly different so this was like mid high school and stuff i think i was in my june junior or sophomore year we just went to the movies and hung out and such um mind you like i've also gone to the movies with like a whole bunch of like my girlfriends or just like you know whoever and such um, but now since it's like, you know, we're getting a lot of anime movies coming out here in America and such, I would love to just go see a random anime movie with a guy and such. Like, okay, the Spy Family movie is coming out sometime next week and I'm going to go with my mom. My mom hasn't seen Spy Family. Would I want her to see it? Mm. Yeah, because it's funny. But like, my mom's seen Demon Slayer. She just, you know, she hasn't finished it yet. My mom has not seen the movie. Even at a, as of now. She hasn't even finished season one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but 
I would definitely be like, come on, let's go. Like, you, you can, I don't care if you fall asleep. Because, mind you, she sat through the whole Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie. Even though she ha she's only watched, like, two episodes of JJK. And she watched, like, I think a good six or seven episodes of Demon Slayer. But mind you, this is the same woman who binge watched the heck out of Death Note with me. Anytime, and then anytime I rewatch it, she's like, let's go. I'm ready to do it all over again. And I'm like, woman. Woman. That's like if Dorara, because she's also seen that too, if that got a movie and if that came to America, that woman would be like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to see Salty. And Ish, and I know her because she, she likes Salty a lot. Salty is like her favorite character. She will want to know more because, duh. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was so freaking sweet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes four and five of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Nostra Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes six and seven. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.